Hi there everyone, Brad Clark here again uh, for another boot camp class. I appreciate you coming out and uh, checking out this video as well as when it goes live uh, on Thanksgiving Eve. If you're doing it after that, then uh, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. So, like I said, today we're going to do a boot camp class. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. If you have dumbbells, grab them. If you don't have any additional weight, that's not a big deal. I will give you alternatives to the exercises that we're going to do today. So if you don't have any free weights, you can do everything today with just body weight. So what today's going to look like is we're going to do three separate bouts of exercise. We're going to do three different exercises within each bout. And in between those exercises, we'll be doing either a cardio burst um, exercise or an ab exercise. So that being said, let's get after it. So for our first round of exercises, we are going to do single leg deadlifts. We'll do uh, those on each leg. We're going to do some chest presses. Now, if you don't have the dumbbells to do chest press, you can do a push up. And we're also going to do dead bars. In between those exercises, we are going to do uh, 12 ice skaters. So I'm going to go through this first round uh, a little bit slower and explain the moves as best I can for you. And then the next three sets uh, will be a little bit faster with a little less talking from me. So for the single leg deadlift, if you've got your dumbbells, go ahead and pick them up. If you don't have dumbbells, uh, that's fine. You don't need them for this exercise, but they do help a little bit. So we're going to do eight on each foot. What we're going to do here is start with our knees slightly bent, ever so slightly, uh, so we're not locked out like this. A little bit of bend. We're going to reach our hands down towards our toes and let the off leg come up. Okay. So I'm going to start on my left leg here. So for eight, we're going to go up like this, down, and then back up. As soon as you feel a stretch in that glute hamstring, uh, come back up to the starting position. So we'll do eight all the way through, switch legs, eight all the way through. Here we go. And just really focus on that balance. If you're finding that you're falling uh, inward, so towards your other leg, try to use the dumbbells in your hand uh, or just your hands if you're not using dumbbells to basically split that front leg. So we're not going here and down because then I'll fall this way. I'm going to take the weight and split this front leg and come back up. And that's eight. So that's my good balancing leg. This is the bad one. Let's see how bad this gets. Eight again. Already not good. But the only way to get better at it is to work on it. Although you'd think with how much I've been working on it, I'd be a little better by now. Four. Five. Good. All right, for our ice skaters, we're just going to go off of one foot and onto the other. I'm going to kind of use the mat to go over. If you don't want uh, as much impact as I will have on my ice skaters, you can just do little side steps this way and let your feet hit the ground after each one. Um, and that works just as well. So we are going to do. Uh, 12 of these, each way is one. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but we're gonna end up doing like uh, 24 little tiny sets of these, so they'll add up. All right, 12, there's one, two, twelve. 12. All right, let's take it down, and we're gonna chest press again. <clears throat> If you don't have dumbbells, go ahead, feel free to do a push-up. I'm going to do 12 of the chest press. If you want to do 8 to 10 push-ups, that will be a good substitute. Here we go. The key with a chest press, make sure that the elbows stay underneath the hands so that the force that you are applying to the dumbbells 
is always directed upward. And as you get to the top of the move, make sure those shoulders rotate so that the weight is a little bit more over your eyes. Good. We don't want to stay here and press up here, right? Once you get up here, that's a lot of weight on our shoulders. So we want to make sure that we're kind of moving the weights in a diagonal path. All right, so back up, and we're going to do our ice skaters. 12 again. Ready? Go. Well, all right, we're going to go down and we're going to do dead bugs. So a dead bug, we're going to lay on our back, knees and the hands straight up. We're going to outstretch a leg and outstretch its opposing arm uh, and then bring them back to the middle. So each time we do that, it's one and we are going to do 16 total. So it's going to look like this. There's one. Two, make sure that the core stays tight and flexed the whole way. Six. That is the whole first round uh, all the way through for one set. We've got three more sets. I'm going to be a little more quiet this time. We're going to go through these a little bit faster. So dumbbells, if you've got them, we're going to single leg deadlift. And I'm going to do the bad leg first. Remember eight on each leg. Drop them down. We're going to ice skate. Good. Down to the floor for your chest presses. Dead bug. Again, sixteen.
16. And if you're thinking, hey Brad, you forgot to do your ice skaters, you would be correct. So I'm going to do 24 of these. Go! If you remember to do yours, you can just do your normal 12. And you can hold it over my head. Good. All right, start it over. Set number three. Here we go. Counting that one. Eight. Go for the ice skaters, got twelve. chest presses. Fingers crossed and don't forget about the ice skaters after this one. Again, you can be doing push-ups if you do not have dumbbells. Ice skate. Well, we'll bring it back down for dead bugs. Final set. Go. You might see me playing a lot with where I'm holding the dumbbells based on my balance. Feel free to do that yourself.
Very nice. All right, ice skaters. Good. Take it back down. We'll get our last set of chest press. Skaters, how about you? Oh. It's hard to complain about the workouts when you're the one that makes them. But I still find a way. It's my special talent. All right, last set of dead bugs. Skaters. Go! Well, very nice. That is our first round. Two more to go. Uh, feel free to grab something to drink, catch your breath. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get going. Okay, for our next round, our three main exercises are going to be a glute ham bridge, an overhead press, knees to elbows crunch. And then we are going to mix in uh, jump squats in between those. And if you don't want to do a jump squat, you can just do a regular squat to save some of that impact. If you don't have the dumbbells to do an overhead press, you're going to be doing a plank for 15 to 20 seconds, however long it takes us to get through our overhead press. So to start, we're going to go on our back, knees bent, feet flat, hands are out to our side. The glute ham bridge, all we're doing is driving the hips upward, squeezing with the hamstrings, squeezing with the glutes, making sure that we're keeping our hips nice and stable with uh, our abs, our obliques, and our lower back. Okay, here we go. We've got eight of these. Go! Get a good squeeze up at the top. Eight. Good. Now bring it up. We've got jump squats for five. Remember to use your arms in the jump squat to help propel you upward. Five of them. You thought you were tired of the ice skaters. Just wait until you get done doing all the jump squats we're about to do. All right, overhead press. Again, if you're planking, go ahead and go down to the ground and get started. We're going to do eight overhead press. Go. If you are planking, you should be down in mid plank right now. Seven, eight. Good. If you're planking, you can stop or you can hold it for a little bit longer. But when you come up, you're going to got, you've got jump squats just like I'm about to do. Five again. Good. Take it down to the ground. We're going to go elbows to knees. So just coming up, meeting in the middle, and coming back down. You've got 10 of these. Go.
10. Good. Bring it up. We got our jump squats. Five. All right, that is set number one. We are going to move through our next three a little bit quicker. Got bridges for eight. Go. before our little hydraulic pump kicked in. Good. All right, overhead press or a plank if you don't have dumbbells. We got eight of these. Planking, you can hold it or you can stop. Come on up, and we got jump squats. Five. Take it back down for our elbows to knees. Hit them. Go. squats. Remember, if you don't want to do the impact of the jump, you can just do five regular squats. We are halfway through. Or if you started with jump squats and they're getting to be a little too much, you can switch to normal squats. All right, bridge. Go. Eight overhead press. Go. Eight. Five more jump squats. I'll go from the front this time. Elbows to knees for 10. Go. Good. Back up. More of the jump squats. Five. Final set. Bring it down for bridge. I've said this before, but if the bridges are too easy, you can always grab an external weight, put them on top of your hips, and it will help make this a little bit more difficult. We got eight. So it would look something like this. Eight. If you find yourself in the weight room with an Olympic bar, rolling the Olympic bar in a towel and putting it across the hips 
and putting a lot of weight on each side make the bridge a, uh, a very big power building move. It's a great exercise. Five jump squats. I feel like every week I do these, I have a new favorite exercise. Aside from just the squat. But I do have a lot of favorite exercises. All right, eight overhead press. Go. Squat. A little late to be saying this, but remember on the jump squat to make sure that the knees and then and the regular squat too, if you're doing that instead, the knees are going outward. You're not letting them cave inward. All right, elbows to knees. Go. Stand facing you so you can see I'm talking about my knees. Five. So again, none of on the way down, none of this with the knees going this way. Okay. So that was block two. Grab a drink, take your breath, and let's get started with block three right now. Which way am I making it slide from? Okay, so our last block is here. The exercises we've got, calf raises, bicep curls. If you don't have dumbbells to do the bicep curls, you can do tricep dips either on the floor or off of a raised surface like a chair. Uh, I can show you how to do this from the floor once we get there. Uh, and then we'll do butt kicks for 15 seconds. Uh, and then we'll mix in between all of those, some leg lifts. So for the calf raise, this is pretty easy. If you've got dumbbells and you wanna hold them, you're welcome to. Otherwise, we're just gonna go with our feet uh, turned slightly outward so toes are not going straight forward. We don't have them turned out like a sumo stance. Uh, just somewhere in the middle, 45-ish degrees. We're going to raise up on the balls of our feet, get a good squeeze in the calves, and drop back down. Okay, you've got 15 of these. Ready? Go. Really focus on keeping the calves flexed on the descent phase. We call that the eccentric contraction. I'm 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, I'm going to do the bicep curls, but if you want to see the uh, tricep dip, for those of you who don't have dumbbells with you, we're just going to go hands back here behind us. We pull our hips upward, drop back with our elbows bent, and then drive upward. Okay? So you've got either 10 tricep dips or 10 bicep curls. The key with the bicep curls, remember, do not let the arms get completely straight. We always want to keep them under some kind of constant tension. So 10 of them, go. You can use whatever grip you'd like to use with the dumbbells. If you want to follow the natural motion of the bicep and the way it inserts into our arm, Typically, you'll come down and be neutral at the bottom, curl it up and out as you get to the top. Good. The reason we do that is just because of how the bicep uh, inserts. It wraps a little bit kind of uh, around our arm as opposed to straight down. So, uh, all right, we've got leg raises. I forgot to do those also last round, so I'm gonna do 10 of these. Why don't you do 10 with me if you forgot? But leg raises, we're just gonna be on the ground. Hands are gonna be underneath our backside. Legs are straight out in front of us. We're only doing five of these because we're gonna be doing them, you know, 20 some time. So straight out, heels are up off the ground. Bring them up, pull the butts up off the ground. And that goes for two, three. And again, I'm doing 10 just because I forgot between our last two exercises. If you remember, go ahead and just do five.
Stand. Good. Bring it up. We got butt kicks. This is just kind of like a run in place, but we're going to be focusing more on behind us rather than driving the knees forward. If you don't want to do the impact that I will be doing, you can just do one leg at a time and focus on getting there quick. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have a little bit of a hop to mine. We're only doing these for 15 seconds. Okay, ready? Go! I can feel my shoelaces ripping apart. Good. All right, take it down. And we have got leg lifts. Go! Good. If you're doing those at home, because I'm going to go straight back into calf raises for 15. If you're doing those at home uh, or any place where you can lay on the ground and have something set up uh, above you, not from the ground, but behind your head, and you can reach behind you and grab, that is my preferred way to do leg lifts as opposed to having my hands underneath of me. But you can do them however you feel. Good. Now, to demonstrate what I'm talking about, if you have a couch or a chair or a wall that you can grab here while you do them, that is how I prefer to do leg raises. But as I said, in the absence of something like that, hands underneath your backside work just as well. The main reason I like to do them like that is because I feel like I can get a little bit bigger of a stretch in my abdominal wall with my hands over my head, so I can feel each rep a little bit better, but to each their own. All right, bicep curls for 10. Go! Set of five for our leg lifts. Five. <clears throat> Bring it back up. Got 15 seconds of butt kicks. Go. Try to be quiet feet. We don't want to be stomping. Good. Five more leg lifts. And go. Five. All right, we're halfway through. Bring it back up, and we're going to calf raise. Go! I never know how much eye contact to make with the camera unless I'm talking. So, if it's weird, feel free to leave a comment down below and just say, Brent, quit staring at me while you're not talking doing your exercise. Try to do a whole video that way. Just right here. I don't like it. Five. Back up. Or stay down if you're doing the tricep dips. I am doing the bicep curls. We got ten. let that chest kind of cave forward when you're doing bicep curls. Try not to let that happen. It's going to shorten your range of motion. I am guilty of it myself. 
In fact, I just was guilty of it, which is what reminded me to say something to you. All right, five more leg lifts. Go. Good. Butt kicks, 15 seconds. Ready, go. Make sure on those leg lifts, you're really focusing on a good contraction in the lower abs. We're only doing five of them. So it can be easy to just kind of burst through them real fast. We don't want to do that. <clears throat> We're putting a lot of volume into these in this block. Try to make as many of them as clean as you can. Really focus on getting those hips up off the ground. All right. Last round. Calf raises. Go. <clears throat> On the bicep curls. so unenthused by doing the leg raises now and I'm not even announcing them when I'm doing them. I apologize. All right, bring it up. Last set of butt kicks, 15 seconds. Ready, go. Thanksgiving uh, boot camp class. Please don't use this class as an excuse to go out and eat a bunch of uh, Thanksgiving food that you probably shouldn't eat. That would make me feel bad. Um, but I do thank you for joining me today. Uh, I have been Brad. Likes, comments, subscribes, all those things are great for us uh, here on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to reach out to us more personally, you can always do so at virtualwellness at tryhealth.com. And uh, I imagine we have the full slate of classes next week. I'm not 100% sure about that, but uh, reach out to us if you do need anything. So thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna see if I can outrun the white this time. <laughs>